Hey there, welcome to this video on creating e-commerce performance scorecard using Excel. As an e-commerce business owner, you know how important it is to stay on top of your performance metric to make informed decisions that can help you not only drive growth, but profitability. Performance scorecards are a powerful tool that can help you do just that by giving you a clear, concise view of your business performance across key metrics such as sales, traffic, customer engagement, and more. In this video, we'll show you a simple trick to create a customer customize e-commerce performance scorecard using Excel so you can make data-driven decisions and stay ahead of your competition. So let's get started. Our objective is to build a quarterly scorecard to track overall performance and by various product categories. For the sake of simplicity, we're just going to use sales, quantity and discount metrics for now, but you can replicate the same for any other metrics or key performance indicators that you. Also, the products that you're going to be listing and calculating the performance metrics for are desktops and laptops. Now this e-commerce stores has multiple other products, but we're just going to stick to these two. You can expand this performance scorecard to include all of the products. Now, if I go to the scorecard V1 sheet, I've already laid out the format. We have time on the right hand side. Notice we have columns on the right hand side and all of the metrics are listed on the left hand side, one below the other. Also desktops and laptop categories are separately listed. The overall categories also listed here. Now our objective here is to calculate the performance metrics. Our hands typically itch to create a pivot table on top of this, but the better way to do it is using the name manager and sum if function or the average if functions. So let's see how we can do that. But before I go there, let's look at the data. I have transactions data and this has date, customer ID, product category, product name, pricing, visits, number of conversions, quantity, discount, sales, year, quarter and year quarter were calculated fields. Now with this particular information, we have all the data that is required. However, this does not have a structure in which we can write a formula. So the first trick that we're going to use is the name manager and I'm going to select the columns that is from A and notice if I scroll completely down, it should be selecting all the records within this particular data that is even the blank cells that are there after the data is over like this now if i do this particular selection till the last of the data go back up here go to the left ensure everything is there and then select on formulas and say create from selection and say top row i'll be having name managers that i can use to write formulas using the sum ifs or any other function for that matter now if i go back to the performance scorecard i can start writing my formulas here but before we can do that let's see how we can use the named ranges and do some basic operations on top of it. i'm just going to do some for now i'm going to say sum of and i can just say sales and this will give me the entire sales that was generated across all different transactions within this particular data. However, we just don't want it only for entire data. We want it for the particular quarter, for these two quarters, that is current quarter, previous quarter and previous year quarter. And not only that, we want the quantity discount and for desktops and lab. For that, I have a small trick which we are going to utilize here. That is this one, where we are going to use the metrics that are here and they should be exactly the same names that are present here. So if you see here, sales quantity and discounts, you will have have sales quantity and discounts exactly available here. only if the names are matching here this trick will work else you'll have to rename the name managers or match the names so that it is matching to what is available in the name manager now going back instead of doing sum i'm going to say sum is first based on quarters and let's see if you are able to get the quarterly information right on so i'm going to re remove this and i'm going to say sum ifs sum ifs here and the sum range is going to be sales definitely comma i'm going to say quarter or year quarters then i'm going to give it this particular value i'm going to say f4 and fix the row here and close the bracket now this gives me the sales for the current quarter that is 2023 q1 now if i go back to the data and filter this data on year quarter to 2023 q1 that is the latest quarter and sum up the sales i will be getting this particular number that is 8 885099 which is the number that we have now if i just drag this formula towards the right hand side i'll be getting the previous quarter previous year quarter and if i just check the formula you see our formula is just moving across different quarters and getting me those values or our work is not yet done we still need to ensure that we get quantity and discount also together for that we're going to use the indirect function that will allow us to copy this formula down in 
such a way that it's going to pick out the named ranges that we have used here while creating the named ranges within the name manager now to do that what we're going to do is i'm going to remove the sales here i'm going to say indirect of this particular metric close it right and say f4 on columns and say oh. now what happens is that if I, if I copy this formula towards the right and then copy it towards the down i get all my numbers that is quantity and discount and the beauty of this is that now i can copy the same formula and ensure i get desktops and laptop but for that we need to add another criteria which is the product category now to keep it consistent in sum ifs if you use star it is going to give you the sum of sales across all products but if you use the specific product like desktop and laptop you will get it for them so i'm going to update this formula again so i'm going to add another criteria to this i'm going to say here indirect of product category and i'm ensuring that i'm going to fix the column here without that your formula is going to be wrong and then i'm going to give the filter criteria f4 this one will give us all the products sales which is the same result that we previously have but the only difference is when it's going to go to desktop and laptop it is going to give sales quantity and discount for that particular product category i'm going to close this bracket and then copy it downwards by saying control d and then i'm going to select it like this and say control r and i'm going to copy the formula as of now you will not see any difference however if i just copy this and paste it here paste it here boom you will be able to see both desktop and laptops numbers now all we have to do is the number formatting that is select all of these numbers and format to dollar format reduce the number of decimals and you should have this also we can just change these to comma separated formatting such as this and reduce the numbers such as this. in case you have bigger numbers you will have comma separated values coming in and this is how we'll build the scorecard now notice we have the scorecard generated easily but whenever we want to change a quarter or new data comes in and we have to update the scorecard it should be easy and this is where the bonus trick is guys here you will be able to do it much more easily than you trying to you know do pivot tables refresh pivot tables and doing it or extend your formulas such that it includes the latest version i'm going to show you this one trick where i'm just going to take some additional data put it on the transactional data and then be able to operate on top of it and then just change a couple of parameters that is this particular parameters here to update the scorecard in a jiffy so let's see how that is possible first of all i'm just going to save this file as youtube so you can have a reference of this particular file now i'm going to go to the future transaction data and i'm just going to copy all of this data points to my transactional table now ensure that is unfiltered and you paste it towards the last so you paste this formula here copy this and you paste this formula here and then you extend your quarterly formulas that are there here now once you extend this notice now we have added data we have added q2 q3 and q4 data which means i can go back to the scorecard and now just by changing this to q4 changing this to 23q3 and changing this to 2022q4 i now have an updated scorecard with just changing these parameters easily you can also automate this change automatically however to keep it simple just write type it down so that you don't make any errors so in a nutshell you guys use name manager to define all the names from a particular data and then used some ifs to write formulas and generate all of these values that is you wrote one formula to calculate all of these metrics in one shot keeping the quarterly information dynamic and with a little bit of formatting you are able to generate a performance scorecard that can be easily used by your stakeholders to look at this data also the bonus trick is this is dynamic in nature so whenever additional data comes in you'll it will automatically pick up and show you that particular scorecard you'll be fast efficient and you will not make any errors with this particular structure now i know you might have a lot of questions on how i did this particular activity so post all of your questions within the comment section and potentially give me some of your cases that i can make some more videos on top of this particular concept thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button Subscribe to my channel 